Welcome back to the Bronx Journal. I'm your guest host, Alex Lacey. Anthropology in the Museum, a class here at Lehman College, explores the relevance of museums and their exhibits within our society, emphasizing on their anthropological context. Students learn about how the representation of the human and natural world have changed in response to different sociocultural and political climates. As opposed to learning in the classroom, these students meet in New York City museums. For their final project, they conceive and design their own exhibit here at Lehman College. Here to talk to us about the class and their exhibit are Adriana Rojas and Robert Palau. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Thank you. So I guess we can start with, um, what is this course about? Well, it's about um, looking at the museum and at the anthropological context and uh, basically breaking it down into what goes into a museum and how they build and control it. Well, um, so what is anthropology? Anthropology is basically the study of humans, the study of life, uh, evolutionary processes, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Well, um, so who is this class open to? Uh, when did it start? Um, it actually um, was last taught about 20 years ago. Wow. And um, yeah, a long time. Um, our professor, William Harcourt Smith, was the one who actually resurrected the course. And it's actually open to all students. Um, there actually no, aren't any prerequisites involved, which is great. Um, any student from any dis discipline can actually take the course. Well, then, um, are either you anthropology majors? Yeah, I'm an anthropology okay. major. Okay. I'm actually an art major. My concentration is sculpture. Oh, well, then what made you take the class? Well, from an arts background, I think it's extremely important for me to understand how an exhibition is actually constructed and even to try to learn how to curate an actual exhibi exhibition. Um, you know, want, that's what, the reason why I wanted to take the course. Well, so since um, only one of you is an anthropology major, does that mean um, your class is a mix of many different majors? Absolutely. We have um, nursing majors. We have history majors, art history majors. We have math majors. Media majors. Oh. It comes from everywhere. So any, all these people can benefit yeah. from this class. Okay. Everything goes into the museum. Everybody has something to contribute. Well, what is it that exactly you learn in the class? Well, we learn um, how, um, we learn about the history of the museums, where they started, um, what goes into building a museum, the exhibit, um, the dioramas, the information, and... Um, and especially in exhibitions, how they're actually shaped by society, culture, and even politics. And so do um, the people that actually make the exhibits, in a way, does their perceptions come out in the exhibit then? Yeah, absolutely. Depend, depending on what the curator wants to evoke in the exhibition, they can be selective to the, the artwork or to other medias that they want to choose for the exhibition. It really depends on which museum we're looking at here, whether we're looking at it as art, are we looking at it as history. And so each of those um, exhibits have their own kind of way of putting them together, right? Absolutely. Oh, all right. So, well, if they're focusing on certain um, aspects of... Um, an exhibit that they want to put on. Does that mean in a way they uh, neglect um, anything that they would put in the museum? Definitely, yeah. Like I was saying before, depending on what they want to present, what information they want to evoke in the exhibition, they have to be selective to the artwork or to, uh, like I was saying, other medias they want to put into the exhibition. Definitely. Yeah. There's always, um, you always have to be careful with it. You don't want to offend anybody or send out the wrong message or give the wrong information. And most important, your audience. Your audience is absolutely important depending on the sophistication of the context, of the content area and all that. Well, this isn't exactly a normal class, but um, so what exactly makes it unique? Well, the one thing that really makes it unique is that almost anybody can do it. Um, everybody has a lot to offer to the museum. Um, history majors, um, you can be an academic major. Um, an art major, and anthropology is basically one of the big ones. And um, But this isn't a class that is just taught in the classroom, right? You actually go out to the museums? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's almost like field work. We're always, through the beginning, we're in the museum almost at all, every week, every session we're in the museum, which was great. It was first-hand experience. Well, um, what museums did you guys go to? We had the opportunity to visit the um, American Museum of Natural History, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and also the National Museum of the American Indian. Okay, well, um, did you guys have a favorite museum uh, that you guys uh, went to? I can't say really that any of the museums that I didn't like, I liked them all. My favorite actually was the um, National Museum of the American Indian. I loved it because it focused on pre-Columbian art and it gave the respect that um, American um, Indians deserved. 
Uh, well, since you guys are learning about um, uh, like different exhibits and things like that, and you're going to these exhibits and you're saying that um, sometimes the curators uh, neglect and focus on different things, was there any uh, museum that you didn't like? Or you didn't think their exhibit um, well, was um, very good? No, I mean, they all have their own individual strengths and weaknesses. Like, if we want to look at the Museum of Natural History, they're really focusing on um, human origins, um, environment, and when we look at art museums, they're focusing on the beauty of artifacts mm -hmm. and, not the the, and not the history of what's, what, the art, what it was used for, where it came from. Well, uh, why don't you guys tell me a little bit about the final project you're doing? Well, we're doing, we're building our own exhibit. Um, Human um, Origins is the base of the project and um, everybody has their own take on it. We're all separated into sections and um, this is going to be presented in the Fine Arts Building. Okay, well, what uh, are each of you guys doing in the exhibit? Well, actually, we're collaborating. We're going to focus on the future of humans. Um, we're going to provide a pessimistic and an optimistic view of human evolution. And that, actually, that's our question, if we are still evolving. So that's what we're going to focus on. And that's just our section. Everybody else has their own individual sections. Mm -hmm. Some people are focusing on um, genetics, race, geography, tool use from past and present. Um, culture, that's very important. Um, and we're even going to have um, a little media segment from a survey that we did around the campus to uh, talk to students about what they believe about human evolution and uh, even touch on like some touchy topics such as religion, creationism, or evolutionary theory. Mm -hmm. That's what we also thought was extremely important to involve the Lehman community. That's what, that's something we wanted to definitely evoke in our um, exhibition. Well, um, what do you guys hope in that case the Lehman uh, community gets out of the exhibit? Well, the purpose of any exhibition is definitely to educate we hope on educating about our, you know, our origin, where we came from until, you know, now. Um, how we evolved from apes, um, how we disbanded from Africa and um, moved all around the world and basically evolved to fit our environment where the concept of race comes in. Yeah, <laughs> also even um, override the misconception of linear evolution, which is totally wrong. Okay, well, uh, what do you think actually goes into, um, well, what do you guys do to actually go about putting together the museum, I mean, the exhibit? What kind of research or have you had to do? That's what was so important because we have to actually go to museums and even analyze and criticize the strengths and weaknesses of museums so we would be able to take that knowledge and draw it into an exhibition. That's what was important about it. That's what makes the class so special and the fact that all the students come from different disciplines to provide, you know, their insight and all their knowledge they have. All right, well, you guys mentioned that um, are we still evolving, right, as part of what you guys are doing. So what do you guys think? Are we still evolving? Well, I mean, if we want to talk about present time, well, there's actually a belief that we're at kind of like stasis right now, but um, we're actually, it's mostly about prediction. Like, what if there was a universal human if all these different ethnicities came together and just made one person or even what if we evolved to a separate class like the um, soci um, the, like the aristocrats the higher class will become the perfect human and the lower class will end up becoming like some little goblin person there's many different <laughs> takes you have on it all right so um, you guys are focusing on just that in your exhibit the future yes that's what we're working on human so evolution exactly. um, what the environment could possibly become. Are we gonna end up in an apocalyptic uh, universe or are we gonna build some beautiful utopia? And mm -hmm. even um, on technology, what is it gonna become later on? Are we all gonna become robots or something to that extent? Mm -hmm. right, well, um, so when do you guys think this exhibit is gonna be open? Um, sometime during the end of May, anywhere between May 23rd to May 26th. Right now we're still in um, the building process. We're pulling all of our information and all of our artifacts together. So who is the exhibit open to and um, how long do you think it will be there for? Like we mentioned before, it's for the Lehman community, um, faculty members, w um, employees from Lehman College, people Students. from the, the Bronx. We just want anyone to go, whoever wants to see it. Well, um, so um, if anyone wants to get in contact with um, you guys or yes. your professor, how Our website it? is, well actually I'm sorry, our email is human.evolution at lehman.cuny.edu. If you have any questions, more than welcome to you know reach us there
All right, well, thank you very much for being here. And